Yeah. So, uh, please, if you're trying By to come way, to this, um, pay um, attention. Uh, shout outs. Yeah, definitely. Keep track of uh, of uh, the socials of 2G Gaming. However, shout out to Send real quick and uh, Vance real quick. Um, they asked, uh, is this going to be the last MSM online? I have uh, no concept. We don't have, know. We don't, actually, we don't have, yeah. we we don't have, have plan yet. We yeah. don't know what we're going to do with MSM online. Yes. So if you guys, if, you, oh. if, if for like all you 2GG historians, and I know we're getting into the match in its grand finals, but for all you guys who just saw like the announcement, um, we've had online like offerings and tournaments before for people. We had a Battle Network Thursdays. So that was our online tournament offering that we had for quite some time. Uh, just stay tuned on Twitter. We do want to offer something for everybody online as well. But for the most part, I would just tell people just say, is, you know, stay tuned on Twitter. Whenever we can do something as best and efficient as possible, like we're trying to do with MSM offline, uh, we're going to do so. So just be patient. You, you, yeah. Many things can happen. With yeah, all that is, being wait. said, yeah, well, that being said, we do have a match. And this is Devo's loser run. He has to reset the bracket and 8-bit man is not going to let him. We'll go a little bit more into detail once this match is over. But definitely, you don't want to miss this action because uh, we, oh, no. no, we do have sent in chat and you don't want to see <laughs> Nets struggle on that recovery. It's very unfortunate. Devo needs to keep composure. He wants to bring this back. But 8-bit man, as I mentioned, he feels rested. He feels ready and he is sitting comfortable in the winner side of bracket so every single interaction he feels comfortable enough that he is no not under pressure unlike Debo. yeah uh Abe man not only is robin an incredible character but just the way that Abe man plays his character is very over overwhelming he has a lot of technical things he does as well so it can just be times where the match starts and before you even know it you're like on your second to last stock or last stock in the up smash Oh my god, Ape Man in his head. He called out that dash attack from miles away. And literally miles away, like that hitbox on the ground is a mile long. Uh, scooped him from halfway across the stage. Uh, pretty dominant three stock. I know D Debo SD'd one of those stocks, but outside of that, um, Ape Man complete control. Looking like he's having no trouble dealing with Ness right now. Not that I would expect him to. He's fought this character so many times. Uh, Devo's really gonna have to dig deep if he wants to win two sets over a bit, man, especially in a best of five. Yeah, it's super complicated in the sense that, well, not only he struggled there with his recoveries, a bit man also made them impossible. It was just ridiculous how much pressure he was putting on at all times, so much so that he forced a, a, a mistake, a, an error when it came to recovering there. So Devo really needs to regain composure. But yes, for those of you who didn't get it, MSM is back offline July 5th. You don't want to miss it. Really want to keep track of uh, 2G Gaming's Twitter and every uh, every other platform that they make announcements on. Just make sure to keep on track of them because you don't want to miss the registration. It's going to be on Los, uh, basically Los Angeles. So uh, stay tuned to that. Mm -hmm. More information very soon, uh, possibly after this set ends. But yeah, back into this. I want to see what Devo can do to adapt here. I think what really happened, not necessarily Ava Man completely, like, you know, destroys him and much better. I think Devo just didn't really get a chance to get into his own rhythm uh, at all because of the pressure of Ava Man. So I think if he's able to do that in this game, there's a chance that, you know, we can see a more competitive set right now. So yeah. far, though, so far, looking really rough. Ava Man playing around Ness very well. Oh, big! I have to oh, agree with nice. you. It's, it's becoming increasingly diff difficult for Devo to um, find his rhythm. Exactly as you mentioned, it's it's all about rhythm. It's all about momentum. It's it's about finding an opportunity to get in. And Devo is. I don't think that he's not finding it. It's just that a bit man really not giving in. Like he's just putting aggression at all times. He's putting every single option there to keep um, basically Devo off his shoulders at all times. And he wants to consolidate this win with a clean 3-0 maybe, but it's looking really hard for Devo. And even though he does have the drive, the intent, it becomes hard because the matchup not only makes it complicated, but also 8-bit is playing insanely well. No wonder he is currently in the winner's side of bracket. Yeah, I do recall correctly, 8-bit has won the most MSM onlines of any person since we started doing this tournament. So he definitely wants to add on to that win streak for sure. Uh, 
Yeah, and just the way he's playing, he's so good at mixing up defense and offense at the drop of a hat. Like, you never know when there's a chance to even, you know, press a button because he's just all over the place. But, great Nair there, finally getting the first stock. Uh, yeah, he's able to get a stock, but still, I just feel like the momentum is firmly in 8-bit man's hands. Like, he just looks so comfortable right now. Yeah, it could be it could be a thing of a, as I mentioned, a matchup situation where it, it, Ness struggles to get in uh, within uh, Rob's insane hitboxes. They're just so huge; they linger for so long too. It can be a little complicated, and even though Rob can be a food combo combo food, sorry, it still becomes difficult because the way that Eggman plays is just ridiculous. He doesn't give. He doesn't uh, grant an opportunity, and he's ready to capitalize. If you make a mistake, he's going to punish you for it, and he's going for that punish, trying to go for the spike, unable to get it, but that back throw finally nice. put an 8-bit man in his last stock while Debo with 70%, oh. almost 80, but an edge guard situation oh. and might not look pretty, and indeed, 8-bit man gets, gets the insane spike one more time to get the second game he just needs one more in order to solidify himself as the champion of msmo 61. not just the champion box. not just the champion of msmo 61 like the champion of just msm online in general <laughs> yeah he's won the most and potentially won the last one but possibly like it's crazy we don't know. We don't know. I, I will add just just to myself, guys. If you do want to see like another online tournament happen from us here at 2GG, let us know. But we, if you guys are on the Discord, say it. Say you guys want another online tournament. If you guys are on Twitter, let us know. If the more vocal you guys are for it, we are willing to provide an online tournament. I have one gigabit internet specifically for Wi-Fi. So honestly, I have the the bandwidth to do it. So if the people are willing, 2GG will provide. But let us know, man. Bands, like I said. Vans, let me tell you, we have 400 viewers right now. I think there is a demand. I think everybody, even though we want to see offline, that they are voting with their time here. They're voting with their eyes. They're voting with their uh, permanence in this in this uh, long streak of tournaments. We've done 61. I've joined a little late, but I know that every single one of them has been intense. And I, I have to argue that even though we'd love to see offline as soon as possible, the demand is not going to go. I can tell you for sure. Yeah, definitely. But let us know, man. Get, get on that Discord. It's right there in the chat for you guys. Get on that Twitter. Let us know, man. We've done it online tournaments before, and we'd be happy to do them for you guys again. I'll leave it to you guys, Sirk and Stride, to take it away from here. Thank you very much. In this potential last game, a bit man still controlling the situation quite effectively. Now, even though Devotes does have an opportunity to find himself an opening, he struggles a little bit. It's something that he is still uh, under control. It, it takes a couple interactions to bring it back, and I think it's very well in his hands to do it. So far, though, the main thing I'm seeing from Devo that he's uh, struggling with the most is he doesn't really know what to do against Gyro in neutral. Yeah. It's just slowing him down a, a lot. He's either getting hit by it or getting forced to shield quite a bit. Uh, and then when he does also have to deal with the gyro combos from Avian Man as well, it's just been really difficult for him. Also, the Nair as well. A little bit harder to deal with online because you can't parry it consistently, but he's definitely getting hit by Nair way too much for uh, my liking. Yeah, okay. those those hitboxes are ridiculous and Rob, and it's complicating uh, Devo's life even further. Like every time he tries to trade or, Ooh. oh, there you go, challenge, he finally finds an opening. But every time he tries to challenge, he finds himself against either a Nair or a Gyro, as you mentioned. And it becomes harder for him to get in, but he's slowly trying to find an opening, even though percentage is not looking pretty. Still, it's still very doable, but those spikes are not going to give off. They're not going to let him recover. Look at him pop off. It's hovering there, playing with his foot, toying with his opponent. And right now, he feels in total control, and it's showing because he's just one stock away from becoming the winner of uh, MSMO 61. Yeah, and a dominating 3-0 will it be to, uh, for Avian Man to close his tournament out. Devo would love to see him get a game here. Never want to see someone go out 3-0 in the grand finals, but Avid man, he's trying to wrap this up so quickly. There's a chance for an edge guard here as well. The gyro's at the ledge. Another one. 
Oh, he's gonna take the hit because it's no. perfectly fine. If you take the hit, the no. distance of Ness recovery is basically nothing. So, Aven Man with the stock lead perfectly, perfectly positioning himself to take that 3 0. Brilliant display of Robin this matchup. Made it look like Ness had almost zero options on him.